Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would show you my everyday morning skincare routine. I've woken up, set up the camera, I haven't even had a coffee yet, so this is how my skin looks first thing in the morning after waking up. I usually start with quite a, I don't know if I would call this a greasy face, but I put on so many oils and like Vaseline and stuff on my skin at night, that's for another video and night like skincare routine. So in the morning, what I like to do is actually just check my skin to see how it feels and see what it needs. It sounds really silly, but on some days my skin feels dry. On other days it feels really moisturized. Sometimes I'm like, did I even wash my face well enough last night? Today it's feeling a little coated. And so what I'm gonna use today is my CeraVe foaming cleanser. Um, they do say not to use foaming cleansers because they can dry out your skin and stuff. Um, I haven't noticed that very much with this. It's another product I use that can dry out my skin. Um, I haven't noticed any issues with this and I love the way it feels. I love how clean it makes my skin feel. And what I will do sometimes as well is follow it up with a different face wash. My absolute favorite go-to face wash. You can see like this is probably my fifth bottle of this. <laughs> and it's all worn down. But it is the Vitamin C Cream Cleanser from Face Theory. I will link everything in the description box of this video. But I love this stuff, like, I've bought it so many times. It annoys me that they don't like sell in boots and stuff. You always have to go to the website, but it's fine because I also use, you'll see I also use their Vitamin C Serum as well. So I just buy them in bulk anytime I'm ordering. Let's go for it. First things first, I need to tie back my braids. If you're ever thinking of getting braids, just know that while they are incredible, and I did these myself, by the way, you guys. I'm really proud of myself. First time I've done boho braids, but I've been braiding my own hair since I was seven years old, so nothing new for that, nothing new to that. My mama said, I got three daughters, you all need to learn to do your own hair, and so we did, and I've been grateful to her for that ever since. So yeah, first things first, get my hair out of my face. When I had my hair out, I was obsessed with these, getting flyaways out of your face. Um, I don't really need that so much now that I have braids, but it's still a look, you guys. It's still a look. You know you haven't had braids? I haven't had braids in a long time. And you know when you're like, I forgot how good this life was. I forgot how good it was. You barely need to do anything. Although I do need to spray them, but I haven't done that yet. Okay, we're good to go. I think it does need the foaming cleanser. There's just so much grease on there still from last night. So this is the foaming cleanser. As you can see, it's like a gel-like consistency and it doesn't foam a crazy amount, but just enough. I've put on quite a lot today. So I just rub that in my hands and then I'm gonna use my Magitone brush. Again, they say don't manually exfoliate. I find it works really well for me. I have like, curly hairs on my face so it stops me from getting ingrown hairs on my chin especially uh it's going in my eye oh gosh you guys so with the brush i just like to do the bits of my face that need it so like my chin area my nose i don't do around the eyes or any of the softer bits I might go onto the lips a little bit all I need today you guys I don't think I need to do a double cleanse I feel like I would just be doing that for the gram okay guys so my skin is washed and clean I don't feel like I need a double cleanse today I think that's good that's all good to go so I've washed it I've dried it and now I'm actually just gonna add some more water <laughs> before I start putting on my products the reason I dry it in between is because I also do like a towel check so if there's still like makeup on my towel around the edges, I know to go in again. Um, there was like a teeny bit, but not enough for me to go in again. So yeah, add some more water to my face. So my face is nice and damp before I apply my Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, I get mine from the Inky List. This is basically just like a moisturizing um, product. It helps to hydrate, it's not moisturize, but hydrate your face, um, which is why I like to put it on with water. Now, this is one of the cheaper brands of this stuff. At the end of the day, I personally don't think that it makes a massive amount of difference which one you use. I have been using um, 
I've tried so many different brands and this one, just the texture of it, the way it sits, the way it absorbs, feels best on my skin. Um, so yeah, I've tried so many different ones from like expensive ones to cheap ones. Thankfully, one of the cheaper brands was the one for me. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. With all of my products, by the way, I've been using all of these products, except for the CeraV Foam Cleanser. I actually bought that just recently, but with the majority of my products, I've been using these for like the last two years. I feel really good about saying, yeah, this is working for me. Like I found a routine that works for my skin at this stage of life, because obviously your skin can change, especially as you grow older. I'm 30 years old, for those of you who don't know, but I haven't found any massive differences in my skin over the last like, 10 years. It was difficult when I was first experimenting with products. If you've been watching my channel, about five years ago I had so many spots and so much scarring on my face. There's still some scarring, but I really don't get spots that often. And when I do, I know I can predict them because it's when I'm like cycling one of my evening products or when I'm not using it. If I go too many days without it, I might get a spot. Or if I overdo it, I might get a spot. But in general, my skin stays pretty clear. So yeah, I rub that in, I let that absorb, and I just love the feel of the hydration in my face. I do use my hands, I do still sweep, I'm not quite on that pat for no wrinkles thing. Now that I'm an actress as well, you guys, I'm just like, wrinkles are actually really character giving. <laughs> So I'm not too bothered about wrinkles. But the next product that I like to use is my Vitamin C Serum from Face Theory. I love, 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 love this stuff. I love this stuff so much. When I use it, I get so many compliments. So many compliments. I've noticed the difference between when I'm using this stuff and when I'm not. And um, one of my consultants is always like, oh, glowy skin doctor. Um, and asked about this product. And I just love it. I bulk buy it when it's on sale it's pretty much always on sale with some kind of discount code which leads you to assume it's not actually a sale it's just the price and they pretend it's a sale but either way i'm buying as you can see like it's actually quite like thick it's quite thick like when you first use it you might be like oh my gosh this is a lot this is actually a lot like i put a lot of stuff on my skin here um but the trick is to get over it <laughs> no for me i think the trick is to just let it sit like once you've applied it let it sit let it absorb don't go in with the next product too quickly so what i like to do um is once i've applied that i'll rub it into my hands as well and i oh ouch oh got velcro on my my roots i like to then spritz my braids so i spritz my hair with like water the roots of my scalp with water and i put on some oil on my scalp depending on the day so for me that gives a nice moment between products basically for this to absorb a little bit more and just sit into the skin before i go ahead with my moisturizer And a good old scalp massage in the morning. So, so, so good. My hair oils, I can't really recommend or not recommend them at the moment. They are just oils that have been in my cupboard for ages. A while ago I decided I'm not buying any more hair products until I use all the ones that I have. I think with hair products as well, like especially with like hair oils, sometimes you do actually need to just use them for a while to see if there's any difference. Um, my hair feels good at the moment though, so. Yeah, sticking with what I got. I love using this coconut oil weightless oil mist. Um, it did break a while ago in terms of the spray. <laughs> Doesn't actually work. But I just dab it on my hands because it smells so, so good. And I love the way it makes my braids smell. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You only look at someone and you're like, I bet they smell good. Yes, I do. I do, thank you. <laughs> I don't even know if I give that look, but I aspire to give that look. Now, I do like to wash off the oil from my hands in between um, my hair and finishing my skincare. But I do think that that has absorbed a little bit better. It just feels like it's had a moment to sit, even though it's only a few minutes. I do honestly think that makes a difference. I've got my CeraVe, and some of you might be thinking this is so many products, but to me, I honestly, I honestly enjoy the routine, you guys. I enjoy the routine of doing my skincare. It makes me feel like, like I'm, I'm worth this moment. 
because I am and you are like we are with this moment and I do honestly think each product does something like there's a difference between my vitamin C and my hyaluronic acid serum there's a difference between if I just put this moisturizing cream on I can tell like my skin will not be the same so yes it seems it might seem like a lot to you some people it doesn't seem like a lot I'm actually missing a few steps like toning and yada yada but for me this has been working perfectly. I have tried using other face moisturizers sometimes. So this is the CeraVe uh, moisturizing cream. Sometimes in summer especially, I switch to the lotion. Sometimes I use both. They're just different like textures and weights and they absorb differently. This one tends to sit on the skin a little bit more. Um, so while it is quite heavy, it's not necessarily as Sometimes I feel like it doesn't absorb quite as well as the, the lighter lotion, but I love it. Just rub that in. Okay, and then we come on to the final step of my skincare routine. You'll be pleased to know. My all time, oh, let's pretend I didn't bring everything crashing down. The last product in my skincare routine is my all time favorite, La Roche. La Roche Invisible. Uh, sun cream fluid. Is that what they call it? Invisible fluid. Fluid invisible. I absolutely love this stuff. It was the first sun cream that didn't turn me grey or purple. All my other black girlies know the way sun cream can sit on your skin, all my other brown girlies know, it can sit on your skin and make you literally look grey or purple. Like my whole childhood, that was, ugh, that was not good. And so as an adult, when I finally found this or heard of this, I was like amazing. And I use this every single day every single day multiple times a day because you do need to reapply and i live in the uk i grew up in wales and i would wear sun cream every single day and i do think that i need to reapply more i'm not sure if i've probably had all the potential benefits of that because back in the day my reapplication game wasn't very good whereas now i have this over makeup spray which i do use sun cream is really good for keeping the skin protected and healthy i put on a lot i do use a lot of it and again, with this product, once you know what products work for you, you can really wait till they're on sale and just bulk buy them because it's not super expensive, but it is more expensive than other skincare products. Like it's not like a fiver, I'm pretty sure it's like 20 quid. Um, so what I do is I'll wait till they're on sale, if there's an offer on, and I bulk buy, I absolutely bulk buy. And that's just because I know that I'm gonna be using it. And also I love that because sometimes with products, they'll like change a formula or they'll change something about the product and I'm like you, why would you do that? I just found the one, I just found the perfect mascara with perfect foundation and then you've changed it or you've stopped selling it. So yeah, by bulk buying it, I know that I have enough to last me the rest of the year. <laughs> and, and I do have enough storage for that. They don't, well, they do go off, but not for a long time. Do they have a use by date? Yeah, 2026, 2026 will be good. If you saw my kitchen organization video, then you know that I'm like no longer bulk buying food that I realized it's just me, I don't have to shop for a family of seven. Um, and all that was doing was taking up storage in my space. And that's it. I mean, I said that that was the last product, but it's not really. Sometimes I'll put just a little bit of Vaseline. Good old Vaseline, good old petroleum jelly. On my lips. I do usually also brush my lips as well to remove any dead skin. Um, I brush them a little bit with my Magitone face brush, but I prefer to do that when I brush my teeth and I prefer to have my coffee first. So I have one coffee day in the morning. I love it, I enjoy it so much, but I don't want, I noticed that my teeth were getting stained. So yeah, I now brush my teeth after coffee to try and avoid that. I think they've been a bit better. Don't look, don't look. No, they're still, they're, like I used to have really white teeth, they're still not as white as they used to be, but that's fine. We don't have to be Barbies, okay? Although the new film made me want to be Barbie again. Huh, that's funny. I do want to be Barbie. <laughs> anyway, aside from that existential crisis, thank you so much for watching my video on my skincare routine. If you'd like a video on my night skincare routine then please do let me know in the comments please make sure you like and comment and subscribe i'm really committing to youtube at the moment and i just want to put out great content for you guys to watch i love making videos and sharing life with you life in my 30s i'm almost 31 you guys it's two two more months till my 31st birthday and i'm very excited actually i like getting older i don't know why people i don't know if it's because i'm the youngest of five 
that I've always like been on catch up. But I like getting older, man. It's such a blessing. It's such a blessing. I'm so grateful to God. Um, so yeah, life in my 30s, baby. I only started this channel in my 20s, so I guess it's not that different. Anyway, love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.